Hello. Uh, welcome to uh, <clears throat> the live stream. I'm terrified. I haven't played uh, songs in a while. And I'm going to do my very best to play some songs uh, to make you guys have a better Sunday afternoon. that some guys sent through um, that I will attempt to answer <clears throat> as best I can. Um, so this is my uh, Batcave studio thing that I'm in, which is why it's so dark, because <clears throat> I like to um, have no light uh, when I'm in here working, writing songs and stuff. So yeah, that's what uh, that's the plan. I'll play a couple songs for you guys, and then in between each song, I'll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll answer some questions. Um, hopefully this doesn't completely suck. So uh, the first song I'm gonna do <clears throat> is, um, just thinking for nostalgic purposes, is, is the first song I ever wrote really <clears throat> that I can remember. And uh, I'm gonna dedicate this to my, my good buddy and tour manager, uh, Gary Notley, because he keeps begging me to play the song. So here we go. Smiling Jesus, get off that cross. Feed me, screaming myself. I don't care if I'm lost. Don't tell me that you're all better. I don't care if you are. Don't tell me that you're transcendent. Take my 
questions um first question up that we've uh, oh jesus we got this week was uh, from lawrence who says how often do you write songs um i don't write songs daily <clears throat> um i think for the most part it's it's whenever inspiration strikes that i write a song and uh yeah it could be it could be three o'clock in the morning that i wake up and i have an idea and i, and I get up and i'm I try and I either sing it into my phone or I try and get into the studio and I'll either it might just be a drum beat or it might be a, a guitar riff or something. So it's kind of sporadic. Um, like the new album we just did, uh, which is done and basically going to be, I think, released in August at this point. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's <clears throat> a lot of it was written over the course of about 10 months. And there were about 40 to 45 songs in contention for the album. So uh, we ended up settling on recording 21 tracks, which is more than we've recorded before. And yeah, we've kind of whittled down the, the album to include 13 tracks of those. So it's not, it's, it's not an easy question to answer how often, <clears throat> but when I'm in the mood and I'm in the, in the, the writing mode, it's, it's uh, pretty much uh, try and write a, a song a day. Uh, okay, our next question is from at Bloody Bride asks, uh, what can we expect from the next album, the new album? Um, I think the new album is going to be pretty, pretty much. It's my it's my favorite album we've done to date, by far. I think uh, as far as the songs, I think they're the, the strongest songs we've written. I'm really super proud of it. I produced it again um, with. Matt Hyde <clears throat> Engineering and Corey Lowry, my boy, uh, as assistant engineer. And I think it turned out killer. We, we worked in a, in a little place called uh, Dark Horse Studio. And it was kind of, we did 21 tracks, I think in about 17 days, um, which uh, I think is a testament to everybody having had the demos for a while and having learned their parts. And so by the time we got in there, we didn't have any, we didn't waste any time. So, and we worked long days. We started at about 10 o'clock every morning. We worked till about 10 o'clock at night. So there was no sort of, um, you know, noon till six type stuff that I've, that I've had to deal with in the past. Um, but yeah, I think, I think you'll like the new album. I, th um, I do. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that, that, that's uh, universal. Um, <clears throat> Paula wants to know, when was the moment I realized that music was my way? I would say I was about five years old and I was watching a movie called Jock of the Bushfelt. And it's basically, it's about this, the, this, this guy, Sir Percy Fitzpatrick, he finds this, I think that's his name. He finds this uh, runt of the litter dog being drowned and he saves it if I remember correctly, but basically you, you, it's, it's, you endear, this dog becomes endeared to you and it's, it's, you fall in love with this guy. He's a little, I think he's a little staffy. And uh, at the very end, it's kind of a, a, a really sad thing happens. And then the song played and it was, it was a uh, spirit of the great heart by Johnny Clip. I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart. Um, which is a great, great South African artist who's unfortunately passed away. But um that song played on the radio for months afterwards. And, and I remember every time I heard it, I was burst into tears and I'd go, man, uh, that's powerful that, that that one song connected to that memory could make me feel like a little, like a little kid. I don't know why my, <laughs> I don't know why I was loud into the theater, to be honest. But um, yeah, it was, it was a powerful memory for me. And uh, that, that kind of was the first time I realized, I think that I, I, I was into music, that music was really powerful to me. So anyway, um, 
one more before I do another song. Top three bands I listen to. I uh, listen to a lot of stuff, actually. I haven't listened to a lot of music lately, um, just because I, I haven't really been in my car. Um, I can't still look for new new releases and new updates, but I'm really into, there's a band called Mizio. It's kind of an electronic, but it's two guys from, I think, Texas. That I think, that I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not, then, then I, I have my, my fallbacks. I, I listen to perhaps, uh, oh, there's a, there's a band called LTNT that you can look up on Spotify that I really, I have a very close relationship to them. I, I love everything that they've done. And um, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a third band that we currently are, are, are working with and who are great guys, great songwriters. It's a band called The Brothers Moore. Um, who have some tracks on on uh, Spotify that you should check out. So those are the those are the, basically the, the, the three that I'm listening to the most. All right, well, on to the music. <clears throat> Like every day is the same and I'm happy to discover on my own It seems like everything is gray and there's no color to be They say it's over and I'm fine again Try to stay sober, feels like I'm dying here. Cause I am aware now of how everything's gonna be fine. One day, too late, I'm in hell. I am prepared now, seems everyone's gonna be fine. One day too late, just as well. I feel the dream in me expire, and there's no one left to blame it on. I hear you label me a liar, cause I can't see in myself. It's over, I can again. Yeah. Why try to stay sober when I'm dying? Cause I am aware now of how everything's gonna be fine one day, two. gonna get away and I'm not scared now no and I'm not scared now cause I am aware now of how everything's gonna be fine one day too late I'm in hell I am prepared now seems everyone's gonna be fine one day too late, just as well. Cause I am prepared now. Seems everything's gonna be fine for me, for me, for myself. 
again. God damn, this is weird. Woo! Anyway, uh, that was that, that was a thing. I got to uh, got to switch guitars. So <clears throat> Quarantining. Quarantining. Um, okay, let's get back to some questions. Uh, oh, this is a very important question. This is by far the most important question of the day. Uh, at Lincoln Laser LB asks, Mustang or Camaro? <clears throat> no brainer, Mustang. Not uh, modern age Mustangs, but anything from 68 to 70 in the Mustang Fastback variety. Kind of looking at the Eleanor type vibe from uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. My my dream car, <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm constantly scouring the internet to find a, a, an old Mustang to fix up and uh, put my stamp on it. But yeah, it's difficult to find, especially because that movie just blew that car uh, into the stratosphere as far as popularity. So yeah, that would be for me, uh, Mustang. Uh, at L. Fick Harry asks, what's the funniest thing Dale has said to you? Okay, this is not funny because he's a dick, but we have a song called Gasoline, <clears throat> which, you know. And he comes to me one day and he goes, hey man, why does she have uh, Bill's wig? So uh, from that day until now, I cannot think of the line bills to pay without being bills to pay. Uh, and that's courtesy of Uncle Dalington. So yeah, that's a thing. First song I learned on guitar <clears throat> from Greeny is uh, Polly. I was, I, was, I was about 12 years old. Just started high school when I, I joined this band of misfits. Um, and one of the guys was kind enough. He's still a friend of mine today. His name's Simon Perry. <clears throat> to this day, we went to school together, and he's probably the only guy I'm still friends with from high school. Um, and he had the patience to show me how to play uh, Polly. And I went home and showed my mom, and she said, hmm, that's uh, not impressive. For a guy who never picked up a guitar before, I thought I did pretty well. Um, all right. Well, let's get to uh, sound. Number three. Hold me now, I need to feel relief. Like I never wanted anything I suppose I'll let this go And find a reason I'll hold on to I'm so ashamed of defeat a matter of reasons to believe in me A matter of trying to get by I'm so afraid of the gift you give me I don't belong here and I'm not well I'm so ashamed of the lie I'm living Right on the wrong side of it all I can't face 
face myself when I wake up and look into a mirror. I'm so ashamed of that thing. I suppose I'll let it go till I have something more to say for me. I'm still ashamed of defeat. And I'm out of reasons to believe in me. I'm out of trying to define. I'm afraid of the gift you give me. I don't belong here and I'm not where I'm so ashamed of the life I'm living Right on the wrong side of it all I matter to the one I need. I'm so afraid of the gift you give me. I don't belong here and I'm not well. I'm so ashamed of the lie. Wrong side of it all. Now I'm ashamed of this. I am so ashamed. Now I'm so ashamed of me. Cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope this didn't suck too bad. I'll probably rehearse painfully more for uh, next week. But uh, good news is there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out from this. These and all these, all, all of our social media channels, uh, starting I think with this, and then we got uh, updates from Corey, Dale, John coming through this week. The next Sunday I'll do this again. Uh, feel free to leave us comments and let us know which songs you want me to do uh, within reason, you know. Um, and yeah, happy Memorial Day for everybody tomorrow, and thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Much love. Keep your face masks on.